you probably noticed that the quick fixes I've suggested are all things you can do with your body, rather than techniques that focus on your mind. There's a good reason for that. Anxiety comes from an older area of the brain, the instinctual, emotional brain, rather than the more modern, rational brain. If you've ever tried to calm a newborn baby or a frightened animal, you know that logic isn't particularly effective. You can try reasoning, but the best techniques involve a calm voice, gentle touch, predictable movements. In other words, physical cues. This is the language that soothes the emotional brain when it becomes activated. That doesn't mean that there isn't room for the rational brain in anxiety reduction. The trick is being able to access it. When we're in the grip of a survival state like anxiety, our ability to reason becomes much less important. Our brain prioritizes the automatic fight and flight response over the ability to weigh pros and cons and make decisions. For this reason, we have to bring our level of activation down before we can approach anxiety in a rational way. We have to begin by speaking to the emotional cortex. So let's spend time doing that. Once our anxiety settles a little, we can address the things in our lives which are triggering our reactions and work on shifting our patterns of thinking and behaving.